Hey guys, this is Shane with DNS Adventures and today we're going to be talking about this. So no, we're not gonna be talking about a broom stuck to the back of the tractor, but we're gonna be talking about the apparatus that is holding this broom to the back of the tractor. As you might know from a previous video, um, on the smaller tractor, it, is, it has a Cat 1 Narrow. So unlike your normal Cat 1s, it does have a slightly um, narrower three-point hitch. And what that really means is that they have kind of Cat 0 like a top link and accessories through here, but they have a Cat 1 um, pinhole. So it is slightly smaller than what you would get on some larger model tractors. And one of the things I noticed with my bush hog, which this tractor can just barely run that bush hog as far as horsepower requirements go. I really have trouble swinging these arms wide enough in order to wiggle the bush hog in there. Let's go look at the bush hog real quick. I'll show you what I mean. So on this bush hog, like many implements, they have the pins sticking outwards. So when I'm trying to use the cat one narrow, I have to get the arms around these pins. And these pins are just a little, I mean, I can get them around there, but it's a big struggle to get those back around there. <laughs> so I end up having to push the bush hog to one side after I get it hooked up and kind of stretch the arm to get it around the other pin. So it's really just barely within the limits of my tractor. And I also, <laughs> Use the furniture mover underneath the bill to wiggle it back and forth because I think this is about 400 pounds and I'm strong But not that strong. So that leads me back to this quick hitch So the reason I got this is now I don't have to wiggle the bush hog back and forth. I can literally just come in here See if I can do this one-handed Set these clips up here and this broom's a little big for this, but <laughs> come in here, catch these um, hooks underneath the implement, raise the three-point hitch, and it'll clip right on there. And the main reason I didn't go with a particular brand quick hitch, because I already have two implements, and the box blade that I have is not quick hitch um, compatible. So I wanted something that I didn't have to go buy new implements. I just wanted something that's easily adjustable that can fit on all sorts of sizes of implements. So this is the Pat's Quick Hitch, or Easy. I think it's called Easy. What is it called? Easy Change. So it's not really a quick hitch, but it's sort of a quick hitch. <laughs> there, there are some other brands that make something similar as well. I just went with the Pat's because they seem to have good customer service, which is a big thing for me, and just have a good track record. I don't hear a lot of complaints about these failing for people. The only failing I've seen um, are these springs seem to wear out over time based off of reviews I've seen. But I'll let you guys know once I put this thing to use. But some of the main differences between this and a regular quick hitch is it doesn't have the box frame and you still have to get off your tractor to be able to hook things up. It's not quite as easy as a quick hitch system. I watched a lot of different YouTubers, read a lot of reviews before I bought this, and people with the actual quick hitch comparing this to the quick hitch, they actually prefer this, some people actually prefer this over the quick hitch, just because you don't have to kind of get beyond the box frame of the quick hitch to get back to your PTO shaft. I'm sure that just depends on your personal choices, but I guess that was some people's um, reason to go with the Pat's quick hitch rather than box frame quick hitch. Now, if you're looking for an install video, I'm not going to do an install video for this particular thing, mainly because I am still messing with this, trying to get it adjusted right. It is not nearly as simple, I believe, as putting on one of those other quick hitches. There are multiple points you have to adjust. Um, you're supposed to keep this level with the bottom three point here, which I have it pretty much leveled there. And just for heads up, if you have an Emacs um, 20S, I'm assuming RK19 is probably basically the same thing as the Emacs 20. If you want to get this for this tractor, it does fit. It fits just fine. These arms are wide enough, but you do have to use the thicker of the two wedges that comes with this kit. So basically it comes with a metal wedge and there is this um, 
pin you have to hammer through it so it can hold in place. But that's just so you can get it to your control arm here to keep this thing from wiggling up and down. And then um, there's this pin that goes in to stabilize it this way. It can only go in one way. And you want to have these pins facing forward so you can put the stabilizer bar in later. Um, it also comes with these U-bolts on either side and that holds it, stabilizes it top down so it's not wiggling around that way. And the uh, part that seems to be the hardest to adjust are these um, bolts and the lock nuts on either side so you get the lateral movement stabilized and you get it angled properly. As you can see here, you can see the broom is kind of facing a little bit over that way so that's why it's catching on this a little bit more. That and the broom handle I think is just a little too big for this. <laughs> but you have to adjust these to try to get them um, basically this area here at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle the best you can. Same over here. This one's even worse. I need to get back and adjust this a little bit more. It's just, it'll take a lot of fiddling to get it done, but once you get it set, you have it set and you don't have to mess with it anymore. At least I think that is the idea. I'll let you know if that ends up being true or not. <laughs> Another one of the advantages of this pack quick hitch here is that you can hook up a little bit easier on unlevel surfaces. So if you're trying to go up underneath something, you don't necessarily have to have your implement level. You can get the hook over on one of these sides. It grabs the implement. Once you lift it up, it'll bring it up to the other side. So you can actually <laughs> just lift up one side, then it'll pop it both of those in there. A couple other quick things to note. If you do end up getting this quick hitch, you'll probably have to get a PTO extender, which I'll list the product I found on Amazon. It was only like, I think $40 for it. And it seems like it's well built. I can't say how good or bad it is. I have not used this at all yet, but it literally just pops on your, um, your PTO shaft and you slide it in there. Then you hook it up as normal beyond that. The only thing you have to worry about now is this is sticking beyond your metal shield here so be a little bit more careful with that <laughs> so you also have to get a top link that is about four inches longer than what you normally have because it will this um the hookup point is about four inches further out this way and that's also another thing to keep in mind if you're pushing your tractor to the limit as far as the implement weight since you are pushing your weight or your connection point out four inches this direction that means your tractor will be able to lift up a percentage i don't know what the exact percentage is but a little bit less than you would normally so that goes with this setup and also just a regular quick hitch just due to leverage so just keep that in mind if you are pushing your tractor to its lift capacity limits and you do not want to reduce your weight capacity but yeah, once I get this thing adjusted and properly installed, I will start testing it out around the property, especially once um, spring gets here and I have to start mowing again with that bush hog. I'm kind of looking forward to testing this out and seeing how well it hooks up because, man, that was a pain in the butt to get that bush hog <laughs> on the back of this thing. I think if I had a regular Cat 1 hookup, it probably wouldn't be nearly as bad, but with this Cat 1 Narrow, that pushes this tractor to its limits. But if you are interested in learning how to install this, um, Pat's actually has their own YouTube channel. I'll put a link to their installation video. Obviously they could do a much better job at explaining it because it's their product than I can. So I will put a link to their video in the description below if you want to check that out. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how this works out. Leave any comments below if you have any questions. I may or may not be able to answer them at this point since I just got this product, but if it's a year from when I post this video, I should have a little bit more experience with it. So hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.